JSM AK Dress and today there's another airsoft unboxing. You may notice I am in a new room because I had to change my room. Got my airsoft stuff up here. Sniper. <coughs> and I played the I think it was the third of June one. And I used my sniper. They're double eagle M fifty nine, and when I got back home, I found that they broke. I looked inside in the spring; the thing that pulled back it was broken, so I had to fix that. It took me a while. So yeah, and yeah, pretty much that. So there's two unboxings today. One. I went to the shop BB Guns for Less, make sure you go check them out. Description. So <coughs> I got two things. I went to the shop again. I got I was gonna get a M eighty three A two, but they said the accuracy was like terrible, you're gonna get lit up if you use one of them. So they showed me this other one, it's by Black Viper. And it's it was 60 like panned, so not that much. And yeah, so I didn't know there was attachments to it, so I wasn't able to get any. But still. So this is what I've got. It, it is an assault rifle. It is pretty big, so. As you can see, me standing next to it, you can already see it's a bit big. And it, I ordered two mags, so I've got two mags inside of there. I opened this up already. I don't know what it's, it said R7 on the uh, manual, so let's open it up. So it's got the instructions and it did have a laser sight but I didn't know it had that so I haven't really got any of that. This is it. So two mags, these are wind up ones. I know not the best ones but this one holds about like 350 rounds. So got two mags there. What do I say? If you're looking at this, don't mind that that's from the other thing I've got, so. You've got a pack of BBs. Seems like about 60, 100 probably. And this one is battery powered, so hold on. It's one of them ones, so. And then charger. Yeah. <coughs> I haven't charge the battery but it takes two hours to charge you got the gun itself and then you've got a on jamming rod and then this is the actual gun it's got a sling attachment there and you've got an option here you've got an option semi or fully auto let me just switch it back to safety and this scope here is, is detachable and it's like move you can almost just see it just quickly just. I don't know if you can see that but yeah it's in blue you can get this in orange and I think green and you can probably get it in black as well so yeah let's move all of this aside so let's put the camera Somewhere good. The sling is able to come off, so not bad gun. I think I will be take. I'm actually going to another match, third of March, or a couple of days away. So mag comes in, and then here is the release catch. Just put it there, and you just take it out and reload it anyway. Down at the bottom here, the stock, that's where you put the, uh, hold on, which way is it, Oops, open. that, you push it upwards, and inside there, you 
we've got the uh, thing. Let me attach that onto it. Let me actually see if it's working. Because it could still be like a little bit. Let's go on semi. Oh my god, there was a bullet in it. <laughs> and then you got fully auto. So the bat it's going slow because the battery hasn't been charged much, but semi's fine like. Yeah, see so it'll do that when the battery's low. So yeah. So I won't be able to fire that today, but I might be making another video like after this one, so stay tuned for that. Let me put the head back on. So it is pretty good. I will be taking this to my next match, third of March. Put it over my head. Ah and the I don't know if you're going to be able to see it if I extend the camera. If you can see the behind the sniper there, there's a J2, J2A. That, that's in one of my other videos. It's got the silencer. I'll be taking that to the next match as well. So, yeah. This gun, like, let me move back a bit. Not the worst, really. You can still... Use that for a match. I did see a couple people with stuff like this, so yeah. Oh, and some Nerf attachments actually fit this, so we'll just quickly put you down again. I just took this off. Some so uh, where is it? There was one. It was a laser one which. Fits it, but I can't find that one anymore. Where is it? Not falls. Where? Where did I put it? Oh yeah, this thing there. I did try to fit it, but the thing wrong with this is that. This bottom one here, it doesn't fit, but these side ones, it fits like, really good, hold on, let me show you. Ah, fingers, finger fingers, ow, ow, it's not fitting. Yeah, like that, <coughs> fits on it, so you can be like that, but I don't want that, I want it to be there. And I did try switching this with this one, but it was like, didn't just fit at all. Because of these screws, the oh here it is, found it. Ah. This is the laser screen sight in your eyeballs. This can fit top, I mean side or bottom. Move the bottom first. Come on. For good sake, hold on. Let me just try it on this one instead. Yeah, there we go. Side, so you can, if it's dark match, you can go in like that. I'm not gonna know you're there. Brrr. But I don't know why it's not fitting the bottom one. Let me just try to do that. I think I've got it. Yeah, it was on and then it fell off. Come on, don't film. Yeah, no, it's on. But I really wouldn't recommend actually doing that because if it broke, if it broke the gun, you would probably wouldn't like it. So I'm not going to be running that. So yeah, pretty good gun though. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and I did get a holster, as you can see, up there, right there, it's with the compass on it, if I can get that down for you, you're going to have to see me try to get up here, move the gun out of the way, shoes, the BBs, some people say don't use the BBs, but I like them. I've actually kept all the BBs I've got in 
every, hold on, every single gun that I've ever got, I just keep the BBs. So, you've got the J2A, the silencer, I'll be running that on the 3rd of March. Oh, I'll just move you out of the way. This is the holster. I'm going to just drop it down there for now. Ah. Oh. This is the holster. It, it does hold the, like, you can put a speed loader in there. Got a compass for, like, hard matches when I'm lost. Places. I doubt that I would be. Let me just put this on. Yeah. You do need a belt for this because this attachment. I took off this because like it was way too long and that it would come all the way down to like here, which you do not want. Ah oh, no, I've taken it out. No. Okay, there we go. Right, let's Tighten it and just fit that round as well. Oh. I have to wake up about like six to get ready, and then that, yeah. And then I have to charge the battery for the uh, R7 for about two hours. So, yeah, this is how it looks. You got the compass there, you got where you put the uh, silencer. And then let's clip that back on. On clip. Is it in? It's in. Right. Then you got that bit there where I'm gonna be putting my speed loader. So yeah, and round here on this belt, I can put a mag here, mag there, mag there, whenever I like. So pretty good. So this is just like a normal holster for about ten pound. Got it from movie guns for less, always, every day. And yeah, and then I've got this beautiful gun that I will be running. So yeah. My tip though, because I went to my first match with a sniper, my tip, do not go to your first match with a sniper rifle because you won't be good at it. You need to do some training first. I did do some target practice pretty good at it but when I went to the match everybody was moving around so quickly so weren't able to do it so yeah so yeah the, that's in this video click like subscribe see you in the next video